A Black Sea Delta exercise called Sulk 2007 was conducted on a regional scale between the 5th and 7th of September 2007 in Ereğli, located on the western Black Sea coast of Turkey. The exercise was hosted by Turkey but planned and realized through the cooperation and participation of all Black Sea littoral states under the umbrella of the Black Sea Commission. The Russian Federation and Romania contributed equipment and trained staff. Other Black Sea states, as well as a variety of international partner organizations, also participated with observers. The Black Sea has an important marine environment with significant fishing capacity. It is also a key transportation route between north and south and east and west. Major crude oil cargo from Eurasia is being shipped daily through the Black Sea to world markets. The Bucharest Convention on the Protection of the Black Sea Against Pollution was signed in 1992, establishing the legal base for the protection of the marine environment. Six literal states ratified the convention in 1994. The Black Sea Commission works with representatives of all Black Sea countries. So twice a year, 12 people from the Black Sea countries, they come to the Commission and we discuss what we have to do uh, on the regional level to tackle oil pollution. Exercise Sulh in Turkey was the culmination of specific planning and preparation over a nine-month period involving a series of workshops and seminars to build knowledge and capability. Extremely pleased with the Osprey's uh, participation in the Seoul exercise where we have been pleased to work with the Black Sea Commission, Under Secretary of Maritime Affairs, Minister of Environment and other agency, Coastal Safety and, and Tubitac to mention just a few. We do undertake trainings and exercises nationally from time to time involving our governmental agencies and other related departments, but this is the first time Turkey has organized such an international exercise in which Black Sea littoral states as well as other international observers participate. We've been delighted to be able to support the government of Turkey and uh, the various parts of its administration in bringing together a, a wide range of uh, other players into the exercise, both from the countries around the Black Sea and from outside of the Black Sea area. It's been a major achievement for the, uh, for the region to hold this exercise and a credit to Turkey and to the, the Black Sea Commission and those littoral countries around the, the sea. The event was a large investment in time and effort, with over 250 persons from more than 50 organizations participating. The Turkish Ministry of Environment and Forestry participated in this exercise with its team specialized in marine and coastal cleaning. We coordinated all our agencies and institutions in an effort to undertake major cleanup operations actively and successfully. The International Maritime Organization does a lot of capacity building work in all areas of the world and a lot of work has been done in this region in particular in strengthening the national capacity to respond to oil spills such as those represented by this exercise, building a national contingency plan, um, assisting in, in the preparedness and response activities of the uh, Under Secretary of Maritime Affairs and uh, we're really happy to be here to support this initiative because this is an excellent example of good regional cooperation and and the, the, uh, the issues entrenched in the OPRC legislation. The exercise in Turkey was based on a scenario in which a large-size oil tanker and a Roro passenger vessel collide. The Roro vessel departing from Odessa port of Ukraine carried cards and trucks with additional 22 passengers to Ereğli on the Turkish Black Sea coast. The tanker departing from Novorossiysk port of Russia carried Kazakh crude oil and navigates in the Black Sea. According to the scenario, the collision took place 12 nautical miles northwest of Ereğli port in Turkey.
As a result of collision, the tanker has a serious tear in the first tank and some of the cargo spills into the sea. There are injured crew members and passengers reported. A crisis management center was immediately formed at Ereli. Four units such as the crisis center, the technical study group, the operation coordination and the reporting and media relations group formed the management center. The three-day exercise covered all the relevant components of maritime incidents. Communication was handled with great care by a special team. Accurate and timely information flowed from all directions, but it was a coordinated effort. The search and rescue team took immediate action. Emergency medical assistance teams were mobilized and supported the incident team. Emergency towing teams were also present at all times. The oil pollution response team worked in the offshore for cleanup operations. Another team concentrated on cleaning operations on the shoreline. A specialist group worked on claims and compensation issues. Even major oil cargo shipping companies paid a lot of attention to this exercise and participated at an international level. Exercise Su allowed the testing and practice of communications, decision-making and cooperation alongside practical deployment of search and rescue and oil spill response resources. We worked on the scenario of an oil spill after a possible incident at sea. We calculated the affected area and expansion over time. We, as the technical committee, informed all operation units about simulation results and according to these, operation units took appropriate measures. These simulations are very important because they will be used in developing new future scenarios which will help us to know this region better. So we, we don't see this as an, an end but rather a beginning. Uh, having partaken through the exercise over the past day and a half, it's been very clear that the region has put a lot of effort into being prepared, but also that there is much work to do to, to be able to take forward the lessons learned and hopefully improve the preparedness in the years to come. Many lessons were learned and captured during debrief sessions, and these will be used to further develop regional cooperation mechanisms. We would very much like this cooperation to further develop in the future. The outcome of this exercise will bring new opportunities for future cooperation and collaboration. We shall improve our performance and in real conditions, if God save us, if someday uh, something so bad happen in this region, we shall be really prepared. On behalf of Turkey, I'd like to say that we've been very excited by this exercise. We have had a long preparation process, but in the end the result was very successful. On behalf of the Undersecretary for Maritime Affairs, we hope to take part in future exercises. The Black Sea region will continue its established program of oil spill exercises into the future to ensure preparedness remains sustainable.